Max Dooley has a good question here. So when Vershansky discusses hard isometric training, he states it's important that the athletes relax after. Uh, do they simply mean go recover, or are they thinking of certain recovery modalities? So when Vershansky talks about this, he literally means that that athlete relaxes immediately. Like, I mean, immediately after the isometric, that athlete lies down on the ground and doesn't move a muscle, just relaxes everything. Like, he literally means verbatim, literally, whoever translated that for you, that you go and do this. You just literally, like... Relax yeah. every single bit of muscle tissue you can possibly have. Uh, so there's a reason for that. So when we think about the best athletes in terms of basically all sports, we think about the fastest amount of contractions. We think about doing them as repeatable as possible. However, we think about the contraction, but we don't always think about what happens after the contraction to allow to facilitate the next contraction to happen is for the particular muscle group that initiates contraction to relax. And so this is one of the skills the lead athletes have who are some of the fastest and best athletes, is their ability to relax is tantamount or even better than their ability to contract. They can relax faster than they can contract their muscles. And you might think, why is that important? Well, if you think about the space in between each contraction is of one finger length of mine. And if this is the length of time it takes, say it's one second to, uh, that's not how long it takes, but let's just say it's one second to contract a muscle and then one second to relax the muscle. It, the best athletes in the world, for example, can relax their muscles in half a second. So if that reduces the time between contractions, that means we can do more contractions per second. So that means we can do each movement faster. And so they believe that this is a skill that you can train. Inherently, it's 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 an inherent genetic talent. Again, coming back to genetics a lot, but it is a thing that some athletes have inherently and it's something some people talk about training the you don't see a lot of that anymore you actually see a lot of not a lot of people talk about this anymore the ability to relax great biomechanists would understand this uh, a lot of professors would understand their lectures in muscle physiology or sports physiology uh, but these are not really the people doing a lot of research in terms of, of coaching and stuff so it's not really talked about a lot at the moment I'm sure it's going to come back around at some stage, like a lot of things do. The Russians would have been a huge fan of this. Obviously, Vershansky would have been like the godfather of plyometric training. And so he would have understand this inherently. It's very, very interesting. Gabriel was talking about this only when in Romania. So a sports psychologist told him to do this before he goes to bed every night. So Gabriel lies down in the bed. And then for 45 seconds, is it? Contractions. No, 30 seconds as hard as he can. He contracts every muscle in his body, like from his head to his toes, ass, hands, abs, everything, as hard as he can for about 35 seconds, 30 seconds, and relaxes and does this every night. And what this was allowing Gabriel to do was to kind of map up every single muscle fibre in his body as hard as he can. And he still does it to this day, he says, before he goes to bed, to kind of put everything on the map. And the more control you have over these, the more you're able to relax these between contractions. And obviously, Gabriel is very talented, but it's certainly assisted. He said it has yeah. helped him a lot. So when Vershansky says, come at your question, relax, he literally means to let go of everything and get used to the skill of relaxing muscles. The interesting thing as well, when you look at it at a, uh, like a molecular level, that kind of power stroke, that acting on myosin interplay, right? You used energy, ATP is used to release muscle and to relax muscle, not to contract it. So like the main energy usage or the main like expenditure when you're exercising and lifting weights or sprinting or whatever is in the relaxation phase. So it's in the, the leaving go of the muscle tissue before you contract again. Like it's the resetting of muscle uh, is very, very costly in terms of energy usage. So obviously being better at that is going to make you a much, much better athlete. So it's a very good question. Very interesting question.